leaders who have been detained by the TMC police. Let me cut across to Suryagni joining us live for more on that. Suryagni, what's the, what's the real reason for the BJP to have been denied protest? They have been detained. We see uh, Suendu Adhikari there stopped by the cops. Many of the other tall leaders of the BJP in West Bengal dragged into a police detention well. Why have they been stopped? Well, Nabila, there are uh, various multiple reasons for this and, uh, you know, uh, what we need to understand uh, is that the building that they want to get out, it is the state secretariat. The chief minister's office resides in that. Now, uh, uh, you know, section 144 is always imposed over there due to heavy security. So no one, you know, can actually, uh, you know, b if anyone ever tries to protest over there or create a ruckus over there, the police will obviously, you know, try to stop them from doing so. It's been the president for a long, long time. The BJP wanted the permission, the police denied them on the grounds. Now, uh, you know, uh, I'll just show you around. This is the place where Shivendu Adhikari was scheduled to arrive. This is Shantra Kachi. This road that you see, uh, it leads to Mamta Banerjee's office, Nobanno. And this is the heavy barricading and the heavy deployment of the police, of the West Bengal police and Howra police that has been there since morning. Uh, you know, uh, I asked my camera person to show you. See, there, it's, there are more than one water cannons. There are a total of four water cannons that we can see over there. There, uh, there is a heavy barricading just, you know, uh, over here uh, to make sure that this is not, uh, you know, uh, somehow dislodged or dismantled. Uh, one very interesting aspect of these barricades are, if I ask my camera person, the way they have been, you know, placed, uh, it's uh, such kind of a riveting is done so that, uh, you know, uh, these do not get toppled somehow. Uh, it's, it's, it looks like a semi-concrete structure. So this is the preparation that the administration has done to make sure that this rally is stopped somewhere over here. And these are not the only barricades that are, you know, uh, kept over here. There is another layer of barricades that's right behind us, behind those water cannons. If I can ask my camera person to zoom and zoom and show you, uh, you know, you can see the ample amount of security that has been, uh, you know, beefed up over here. And the reason why this is happening is because this road that you see that our viewers are looking at right now, uh, it, it, you know, it, it is, uh, this particular stretch of land leads to Nobanno, that is the secretariat. So, uh, the police over here, the administration over here, they are making sure that no, you know, they will leave no stone unturned to make sure that this particular rally is stopped over here. However, we have seen how Shubendu has been uh, detained uh, in Kolkata because he was trying to move towards Howrah. Uh, but what we have seen and what we do understand is that there are supporters who are in and around this particular area. So maybe in a short while from now, uh, those supporters might turn up and might, you know, come towards this particular place. Now what happens next is something that, you know, only time can say. But the security preparation that we are are witnessing since morning it's heavy and the word that you know we can use for uh, what we have seen since morning is you know heavy fortification the entire stretch of land and stretch of this road this land that leads to Mamta Banerjee's uh, secretariat the West Bengal secretariat uh, you know it is heavily fortified and uh, these are live visuals that we are showing you guys and uh, uh, yeah, this, this is not the only route 
through which the BJP wants to take out rallies. Uh, there are two mega routes in Howrah. One is the Howrah Maidan one that is being uh, that is supposed to be led by Sh Shukanto Majumdar, Agnimitra Paul. This particular one was supposed to be led by Shubhendu Adhikari, Lockett Chatterjee. We were showing visuals of them being detained. Uh, there's another one that is supposed to happen from Kolkata. Uh, that uh, you know that is supposed to be led by Dilip Ghosh. So three mega rallies which are supposed to, you know, uh, come towards Howrah, but whether or not they will be able to is something that only can time can say. Nabila. Absolutely. You know, this, this uh, of course, raises a lot of questions on the TMC's intentions in the first place. They accuse the BJP time and again of being authoritarian, fascist, of, of uh, uh, using muscle power to, uh, to suppress the voice of the opposition, etc. Doesn't really look like the TMC is displaying any different of themselves today, isn't it? Well, see, there have been political, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, allegations and counter allegations by the BJP and the Trinamool Congress on what you know you were just mentioning a while back. But uh, 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 you know, the Trinamool is downplaying this particular rally. They claim that uh, you know there are internal differences of the BJP. They, uh, it's it's a it's, it's a rally by Shukant Mamuta. Boy, peche Mamuta. Kunal Ghosh has time and again stated that there is a lot of factionalism. But having said that, Nabila, uh, what we have seen since morning, especially in and around Kolkata, uh, you know, multiple BJP supporters, a huge, you know, quantity, uh, number of BJP supporters have come to Calcutta and uh, they are participating in this particular Nobanno Obhijan, which is the gherawing of the state secretariat. Uh, but, uh, you know, but what happens next is something that only time can say whether or not these people will be able to reach till this point or the other point which connects uh, these uh, stretches of land to Nobanno. It's something only the time can say, Nabila.